Now in order to build your jib arm, you're gonna need a couple of tools. You can use a compound miter box saw like I did, or if you got a circular saw, you can get away with that. Or a hand saw, but it's just gonna take you a while. Let's see, you're also gonna need a hammer, a drill, vice grips, a socket set, tape measure, something to make a right angle with, and a pen or pencil. For bits, you're gonna need a screwdriver bit, a 1 8 inch drill bit, 3 16 drill bit, quarter inch drill bit, 5 16 drill bit, 23 64 drill bit, and a 3 8 drill bit. <laughs> When you're at the lumber store, be sure to pick up two 8-foot 2x4s and three 8-foot 2x3s. Now make sure that on those 2x3s that two of them are nice and straight and aren't bent and warpy. You're not making a canoe. You're going to start by cutting out four 36-inch chunks of 2x4. Uh, Mark 45s on the end of each of them and hack them all down. Now from the side you want these to basically look like uh, trapezoids because they're going to uh, come out at a 45 degree angle from the center post and then travel down to the floor. Now cut two 24 inch pieces of 2x4 and screw them together. These are what are going to form the center column. Now to attach the legs, mark from underneath where the holes line up from the strap hinges, drill holes through. and uh, run your bolts through the hinge and then up into the 2x4. And that'll give you a nice collapsible leg. Keep going until you got all uh, four sides done. And here you go. One super strong quadrupod. Now cut a six and a quarter by six and a quarter square from three quarter inch plywood and a seven inch by seven inch square. Again, from three quarter inch plywood. These are what you're gonna attach your Lazy Susan to. On the six and a quarter, put the Lazy Susan down and mark out where all the holes are gonna go and drill them out. Then you're gonna run the bolts through from the bottom side, the Lazy Susan side, through to the top, and then throw the nuts on there and here you go, you're about ready. Take that assembly, find the center, then measure out the footprint of the center structure, position it so it's nice and uh, centered there, and screw it down into the center support. Now we're going to build the uh, upper assembly that the, that the jib itself will mount to. So now laminate a 28 inch piece of 2x4 to a 9 inch piece of 2x4 with a few screws. And then using the same trace technique, screw that 7x7 plate into that assembly. Now you can get ready to attach those. So with the holes that you've drilled, run the bolts through, tighten down the nuts, and there's the top mount. Now as a variation, you can split that 18 inch piece a little bit shorter if you want it to be able to be removed later. If you're going to do that, then drill some uh, nice holes through there to run carriage bolts so that you can attach and detach the upper jib arm section. Washers and wing nuts will work great here because they're easy to remove. Now find your straightest two 2x3s, two set them aside, grab your warpedest one, measure down 24 inches chop that puppy off right about there. That's gonna be the far end vertical raised lower bar. So drill through with a uh, the bit a little bit smaller than your 3 8 bolts. Pound those through, throw a couple of washers in between the uh, pieces of wood there. Tighten it down so it's just snug. Now you wanna be smaller than the 3 8 bolt, otherwise it's gonna be sloppy. Now for the other end, it's as easy as taking another piece of two by four just over a foot long and screwing it onto the other end. Notice I really have to pound these things to get them through. And then measure 24 inches from the end of the jib arm and find the centers. This is where the middle pivot will be, where it attaches to the vertical column. 
Now if you made that 18 inch piece removable, you can just pull it off there, drill a couple of 3 8 inch holes through it, and attach it directly to the jib arm there. Use a wing nut where it attaches to the top strut and you'll be able to remove that so you can do a little bit of uh, poor man's tilting with your jib. And now let's attach the camera plate. So cut a notch out of a scrap chunk of 2x4, screw that onto the forward end of the jib. Make sure it's a little bit level. I'll slice out a four inch wide or so piece of plywood, screw that down onto the end. Drill a quarter inch hole for your camera bolt. Or if you have a tripod head that takes a larger size, like the 3 8 then drill another 3 8 inch hole through there. Attach some of this grippy paper here. and you're done. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Unless, of course, you look at that little map on the inside top of the box that tells you what you're gonna get. I, I was wondering, I mean, a friend of mine was wondering if you're considered gay if you find yourself attractive. Why am I always thinking when it's windy? If all the information in my head can be downloaded to a computer one day, then will my memories of young love be considered child porn? <laughs>